Hello everyone and welcome to this video. I'm super excited to introduce to you another What the Fook video. In case you don't know about the What the Fook series, this is a little mini series that I have about the crazy weird things about living in Fukuoka, Japan or Japan in general. Now the first video I made for this series was all about Japanese eggs and if you haven't seen it, don't forget to watch above. But today's video is about another riveting topic. Today we are going to be talking about Japanese napkins. What? Marissa, what a weird topic. Believe me, today's topic about Japanese napkins is going to be very exciting as Japanese napkins are so different than the ones that you might be used to at home. So without further ado, let's start this video and learn about Japanese napkins. So to first introduce the napkins that I'm used to back in the US, there are two types of napkins that usually come to mind. There is the paper napkin and the cloth napkin. The paper napkin is the most common napkin. It is made out of a papery substance, usually folded into a rectangle or a square and come in a variety of colors. For the most part, they are relatively easy to use. They're nice and soft to use on the face and they're good for absorbing spilled materials and such. And a big point that I want to make is that these paper napkins are dry. And you may be wondering, what? Of course a napkin is dry. No, 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 that is not the case for napkins in Japan. But we'll talk about that in a second. The second napkin that is normal to me in the US is the cloth napkin. These are the napkins that you'll mostly find at the fancy restaurants. They can come folded in a cute design or shape on your plate before you eat. And for the most part are a luxurious napkin experience that is both uh, soft and absorbent. So these are the napkins that I was used to at home. And fast forward to moving to Japan, I kind of expected the same thing, but I was surprised to find that the napkin offerings here are much different. So to start with the Japanese napkins, there are four types that I want to introduce to you today. There is the waxy napkin, the tissue, the wet wipe, and the moist towel. And maybe you've heard of these, maybe you haven't, but today I'm going to show you them, uh, talk a little bit about the pros and cons of each and my overall feeling about each one. So first off, we have the Japanese waxy napkin. And this is the Japanese waxy napkin that I'm talking about. And you will find these mostly at ramen restaurants. Sometimes, I don't know why I always seem to find them at Chinese restaurants, but they are a very common napkin. And it looks similar to the paper napkin I described before, but believe me, it is much different in terms of its texture and its overall ability to be useful as a napkin. And I call it the waxy napkin because when you feel it, when you look at it, it kind of has like this, mm, sticky, crinkly texture to it. And it's something that every time I see and touch, I question, is this actually absorbent? I also don't like the feel of it in my hands and I don't like the feel of it on my face. So it's a very common napkin, but it is definitely not one of my favorite napkins. The second napkin that you will find in Japan is the tissue. And yes, this is not a napkin to me, but at a restaurant I've asked for a napkin before and been handed a tissue, so that is why it is in this video. You'll find these again at ramen shops and other restaurants. Usually on the table, they'll just be a box of tissues. And to me, uh, this is nicer to use on the face, it's soft, but tissues to me generally are for blowing your nose. And so to have this at a restaurant to use for wiping my fingers, wiping my mouth, it's just strange and weird. Blech. So I like the texture much better than the waxy napkin. It is much more soft, but the tissue is not good at absorbing anything. So if you have spills, you're just gonna end up with a wet mess of tissue and it's not a great solution at all. But you will find tissue, you will find waxy napkin at a lot of restaurants in Japan. Moving on from the tissue and the waxy napkin, we have another type that is this wet wipe. Now you can see this one is from 7-Eleven and you will receive these when you go to convenience stores and order bento boxes, when you order food at supermarkets and also in restaurants. 
Now you can see that these come with a little uh, plastic wrapping around it and the actual wet wipe is inside. Now I have some problems with this. First, it's just added waste and trash. If I want the napkin, now I have trash package and napkin that I have to deal with. And if you, for some reason, forget to open your napkin before you start eating and then your hands get dirty, now you have to open a package with dirty fingers, which is not a fun experience. The weird thing about these wet wipes are that they are wet. And when I think of napkins, I want something that dries something that cleans and dries. And so to have an object that makes things more wet than dry is very strange to me. But I will say that these are really good for cleaning dirty hands and wiping the mouth. So not great for spills or anything, but the wet wipe does do well in some of the other cleaning aspects. Now, the thing to be aware of is even though these are sealed in a package, they are prone to drying out. So you have to use these wet wipes within a certain amount of time because the one thing that is worse than a wet wet wipe is a dry wet wipe. Now, I think this one has actually dried because it took me a long time to make this video, but you'll see that it has just a terrible texture that kind of uh, stringy and when it's dry, it is not delightful to use at all. So there is a timeline to this napkin, which is kind of hard to believe, but this is the wet wipe. And the nice thing is that they do stay clean until you use them. So throwing this in your backpack is not a bad idea at all, but there are those other drawbacks that I've talked about of if you don't use it, it will get dry. And finally, the last napkin that I want to talk about in Japan is the moist towel or oshibori. This is most similar to the American cloth napkin as it is a luxurious towel that is most often found at fancy restaurants and fancy bars. And the reason I don't have one is that I couldn't take it away from the restaurants. But these towels always come a little bit wet and they can be either chilled or warmed. And one of the best things about entering a restaurant on a hot day is receiving a chilled oshibori or conversely on a cold day, a warm oshibori. And just unraveling it and like being able to wipe your hands, wipe your face is just a very great way to start the meal. And some of the places also include a little bit of probably essential oil on the wet towelette. So it can be a nice sensory experience also. Now, this is another wet implement, so I am not the biggest fan of that, but being a towel, it has a lot of good benefits for cleaning well, and overall, I am in favor of these wet towels. So I hope you found this video interesting, and hopefully you got to see a little bit of Japan that you might not have known about before. I know a video about napkins is not the most normal of videos, but it's definitely every single time I go out and receive one of these napkins, it reminds me how different Japan is from home, so I really wanted to share with you. If you like this kind of content, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment if there's other stuff you want to see. Maybe there's different napkins where you live. If so, I'd love to hear. I can't wait to see you on the next video and until then, I'll see you.